I'm wondering if maybe now she's having second thoughts about the fact that she's bought that other boat. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Italy. This is Imperia in Italy. Today I wanted to show you this yacht here. This, this is called Moti Yacht Seapel. However, up until very recently, this had, had a secret name. Let's say that's lame, but this was Moti Yacht Secret. The reason why this boat is on our radar is because this used to be owned by Nancy Walton Laurie. She's one of the heirs to the Walmart fortune. The yacht was built in 2013, built by Aberking and Rasmussen, and uh, it was a 78 meter or 260 foot yacht at the time later on i think 2018 it was refit in 2018 and the vessel was extended at a four meter extension i don't know where they extended it though because i don't see really any swim platform normally when they do an extension on a boat they extend it here uh, on the swim platform um but i don't see any extension there so I'm, I'm i'm a little bit amiss as to how it was extended but it was increased by four meters um, in two, I think it was in 2018 during that refit. Now this yacht was up for sale for a number of years because it was at the um, Barcelona boat show. I was on a yacht and this was here and it was for sale at that time. This was just around the time that they announced that she'd bought Jubilee and, and she'd put this up for sale. So it was up for sale for a couple of years at least. Uh, it was sold in uh, 2022, so at least three years as, and it was renamed Sea Pearl and the owner of Ooh, the owner of Seapel was up upgrading himself. He had another boat, smaller boat, which was also named Seapel. And after he purchased it, he got rid of that one and uh, he brought this one in here. The old Seapel used to be moored here as well. What I find kind of puzzling is it's just turned 10 years old, but and yet it was for sale for almost four years. So she'd only had it for six years when she decided to sell it after obviously buying Jubilee. And you've got to wonder if she might have regretted not of keeping this boat now, because this boat was kind of, as silly as it sounds, it was kind of invisible to people. You know, nobody knew that she really owned this boat. It wasn't out there. And, and, and the, the other boat that she's got now, which was Jubilee, now Chaos, I think is like a, a red flag to uh, people who want to um, make protests. Everybody knows who's, who's that boat is now. Whereas when she owned this boat, she went kind of under the radar. Now, if you're new to the channel and you, and you don't know what happened to her new yacht, Moti Yacht Chaos, which is a very strange name for a boat. Maybe people are um, encouraged to uh, create chaos around that boat because of that, that strange name, but uh, Nancy Walton Laurie bought this other boat, as I said, the 110 meter uh, Chaos. Uh, put it, in, it went into back into a shipyard. It was almost brand new. 13 months in the shipyard, completely redone the interiors, did some exterior stuff as well. Uh, created a, a deck outside that that wasn't there before, and then um, changed the name to Chaos, and then it went back out. Now, in the last two months, the vessel was in Ibiza. It was just docking in Ibiza backing into a, a berth in, in Ibiza when two um, so-called prote environmental protesters vandalized the yacht with paint. They came along with uh, modified fire extinguishers and sprayed the, the yacht with paint. They were arrested, they went to court. They've been threatened now with having to pay for the cost of the clear up, which will be massive. And um, they also got um, reported for uh, putting stuff into the ocean. What was it? Uh, contamination of the, of the ocean, which is kind of ironic, isn't it? Because they were supposedly uh, environmental protesters. 
the vessel went to La Ciota in France to, for repair. Uh, one, the, the two people who were arrested went to court. Like I said, they've been threatened with um, possibly getting the bill. I don't even know how they would work that out if it was just for the repair, because you've got the, all of the fuel and everything. If they got that bill, then they, they could work their whole lives and never pay that bill off. So I don't know whether that will happen, but then the boat went to um, Barcelona in Spain less than two months later. Um, and the same thing happened again. People went into, and in actual fact, in Port Vell in, in Barcelona, that marina is a secure marina. It's got guards on each corner of the marina. And I don't know how they got in, but they ran in there quite quickly and they did the same thing. They sprayed the boat with paint again. The boat is probably going to have to have that cleaned again, you know, I'll go in for repair again. It's unbelievable. And like I said, I'm wondering if maybe now she's having second thoughts about the fact that she's bought that other boat. Uh, maybe it doesn't even factor in. Maybe she just, you know, tells people to clean it and that's it. But. You know, I, I can't help but think that it might have been a better idea to keep this boat. It's like, it's hard to get into the thinking of how people are thinking about things because obviously the wants of somebody with this kind of wealth is very different to people like us. Let's just take a moment to uh, look at this beautiful yacht. Now, I don't know anything about sailing yachts. Uh, I can tell you the name, it's called Addix, Sailing Yacht Addix. And it was, it's a 67 meter, what's that, 220 feet. And um, it was built in 1984. It's a three mast sailing yacht. Is it a schooner? I don't know. I, I have no idea. I'm not gonna pretend that I know when I don't. But it, what I do know is, from my point of view at least, it is beautiful. It's one of those things that you can just look at. It's so pretty. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is not supposed to happen. This is why I came to Italy. To get away from the crappy weather. What's going on? I think I brought the bad weather with me from the UK. All right, I gotta go.